In this video, what I'll be demonstrating is how to set up a replication of Wonderware uh, historian data from an on-premise server to Wonderware Online. Okay, to set up the replication, the first thing that we need to do is to access the system management console down on the uh, historian machine and we need to navigate into the configuration editor, system configuration, replication, uh, replication servers item. From there we can right click and select new replication server and we can give it a name. Uh, okay, we can now select the replicate to Wonderware Online checkbox and this will allow us to connect over the web to the Wonderware Online um, platform and enter our credentials to form that replication. Uh, one of my solutions to uh, replicate the data to. So I've selected Pixie Dust Mining. Okay, now I can give this uh, data connection a name. So what I'll do is I will identify that this is Wonderware Historian uh, and also that's from Site 1. Now that name will be used to identify that connection in the Wonderware Online platform. So if I was setting up multiple replications, I'd want to give it some sort of meaningful name. Okay, so the connection has been formed and it has now returned uh, this bearer token that essentially authenticates the, the replication. So the bearer token is now inserted into the connection info, so now I'll select next. And in here, I can change the layout of the naming convention, that is, um, the, the tags that are being pushed up into the Wonderware Online platform, and in this case, I'll leave them as default. Okay, so now I need to add some tags to this replication, so I can actually select a, a limited number of tags available to me on the historian. So I'll select Add Multiple Tags. Okay, so now the tags have been selected that I want to replicate to the Wonderware Online platform. I can commit those pending changes. And the changes have now been committed. So that's essentially what I need to do down on the on-premise historian side. Once we set up the replication, we can check that the replication is running by selecting the replication tab under the management console of the historian. And you can hear, see here now, my historian to Wonderware Online is saying it's replicating with a total of six tags. You will also see the, uh, the number of tag values start to increase um, as there's more throughput from the historian to the Wonderware Online platform. So now what I want to do is I want to check in my logs to see that that um, replication has commenced. Uh, and what I can see here in the uh, log viewer on the on-premise uh, historian is that it's saying here that I have historian to Wonderware Online. I have six tags synchronized successfully, and those values will now start to replicate to the Wonderware Online uh, server. Okay, so now on the Wonderware Online platform, I have logged in as the same use that I used to set up the connection and I have logged into the administration portal here. So I'm inside of the administration portal. And now if I look at the data sources, what we now have is we now have a new uh, data source for Wonderware Historian Site 1, and that was that label that I gave my connection. 
uh, earlier in the video to allow me to identify which connection is which if I form multiple connections. You can see that it's a type of historian publisher, and at this stage it's saying that values have never been published uh, by this data source. Once the connection has been set up and the data is actually moving up to the Wonderware Online portal, you'll see now that if we use the asset 0 to name, six tags that were included in the replication are now being written to Wonderware Online. 